I want to take this third tier title and go up with no questions asked. Were the words of ex Ozeki Asanoyama post training yesterday. A couple of flukes will be all that it takes for two men above him to rise. He'll then need to win Division 3 to regain a salaried berth. Which means one more victory than last time. When match 6 defeat left him so depressed, he again considered quitting. But lots of people talked me out of it, and I can't walk away now, he insists. I've got several years ahead of me, and if I watch my opponent well, and calmly reel him in, I'll be alright. He's been reading the memoirs of badminton player Kento Momota, who's also 28 and has bounced back from infamous suspension. And he's dreading his next talk with ex Yokozuna Asashoryu, who when dropping in on him in Kyushu last year, urged him not to lose a single third tier bout. Meanwhile, Wakataka Kage, widely touted as the next Ozeki, went 14 and 1 against salaried colleagues Wakamoto Haru and Ko Tokuzan. In order to fuel my Ozeki bid, 10 wins at least will be vital, he said. He claims he's not bothered by recent poor starts and will approach week 1 as normal, looking to hit from below. He is three points ahead of Kotonowaka in the race for most annual wins. Wakamoto Haru, who went 3 and 9, said, In the ring, my younger brother is this awesome Sekiwake, and being able to practice with a guy of that quality is golden. Asked to reflect on his best ever score in Division 1, he said of September, it was more by fluke than ability. Those two pivot throws were miraculous and down to sheer chance. As was that magical left I landed on Tamawashi. Motoharu suffered back pain in the middle of last month, but reports that has now subsided. Elsewhere, burgeoningly popular Tobizaru is ruining his latest performance on the TV game show are you smarter than an 11 year old? He entered last year with stablemate Tsurugi Sho, this year with recent postgraduate Dai Eisho, and on both occasions fluffed the final question to miss out on $30,000. Never mind, quips Nikan Sports, if Toby wins the November title, he'll get 100000 on a first promotion to Komusubi, did the monkey say earlier this week, I've achieved my aim of getting here by 30, and the celebration has ended. It's now a case of going yet further. No time to rest up. Next, 20-year-old Atami Fuji has achieved the 8th fastest rise to Division 1, just 12 tournaments post-debut. I'm delighted as I never thought it would happen so soon, he told the press on becoming the sixth top division member from his stables 18. His mother told him to keep aiming higher, which he now translates as winning a special prize of the sort claimed by colleague Nishiki Fuji this July. Nishiki Fuji, by the way, in a recent interview, put his sudden surge in form down to simplification of his moves and mindset post losing score in March. I've reversed my thinking from I want this result to I've trained in this way so this result should follow, he said. Defending champion Tamawashi, fresh from a Kyushu title celebration, says he'll approach this November as any other. I know many champions from the middle ranks post big losing scores in the following meet, but I'm putting that out of my mind, he said. In fact, I haven't made a negative score here since 2011, and I'll try to keep that run going. And they say, good things happen in threes. Well, 
I've won the title twice. While he joins the stage for the chairman's speech, Asanawaka will be patting his cotton sash after re-demotion to Division 3. And controversially so, as rankings chiefs ruled that his long COVID did not provide grounds for rank protection. The chief judge claims no objections were raised, not even by Asanawaka's coach who sits on the committee. But I'd be surprised if this hasn't sparked wider calls for the scrapping of all COVID-related rank protection, with many other sports, of course, having dropped isolation requirements. Finally, having failed to reach certain wrestlers after 10 tour dates, I delivered your remaining messages to stables this week. Veteran Kainowaka collected on behalf of ex Kaisei. Strapping Ishii received for Enho and Ishii Uda. And Mori Udara collected by himself. A fascinating event indeed. Sorry there are no photos. Sometimes it's best just to talk warmly and demand nothing. If you ever meet your favorite fighter, please tell him it was you who wrote. They will be pleased.